We are back with Mr. Jeff and his three words, Cobra, Hi. Yogurt, and Brandon. How do we relate these? <laughs> I have a story. Ah. You get to you tell your three words later. Okay. Well, we know you can come up with a story for it. And it probably deals with Brandon and Manchowder. No, but close. Okay. Once upon a time, in the land of Blarg, there lived a kindly old king by the name of Brandon. Sir Brandon, in his younger days, to all that saw and saw his beauty and strength. Today, a very old and tired man with no hope, only living in the past of his misbegotten youth. And in this time, he sits around eating bowl after bowl of yogurt. Why? Because it reminds him of the heartache that he has lost in all of his life. His family, friends, co-workers, <laughs> fellow worshippers. But little did the king know that his evil court jester had put a surprise in his yogurt one day. We know what that's one day, <laughs> one day, the old gentle king, tired and lonely in this life, supped on this final bowl of yogurt, which was laced with cobra venom. In his death throes, the king would say, I have nothing to regret. Blarg! <laughs> It's supposed Why? to be a horror story, not a children's story. Yeah, horror. it was a horror story because it is Brandon. <laughs> I didn't get him as far, and I'm trying to figure out what was the motive of the guy trying to kill Brandon. Listen, we well, need a I motive. Don't, now, I don't want a motive. I just want to say a, a little king like Brandon would die. Let's, Why? Let's, this is a pointless no. life. What were the three words again? Cobra. Why? The cobra venom was fine. Okay. Yeah, that's legal. Oh, I used technically all three words. Brandon, he did. Yes. And yogurt this. Okay. And it was, it well, was but if you were going to tell the story, it should have been more like, how could he be kindly and want to be poisoned? So you go, the well, decrepit old did. king yes. who wasted his entire life telling people what to do. <laughs> his lowly jester who sat there jealously at him, named King Jeff, okay, which was a joke by the king, who uh, really, uh, really... Was he a bandy-legged dwarf? No, he was bow-legged. We're okay. not going to explain that, but that's beside the point. And so, so old legged old so Jeff. So he did get a proper burial. Not yet, because after a hundred years, you do get a proper burial, but even you, in this country. No, but we're still finishing the story. And so, kindly old uh, Brandon, as we like to, the, the people like to say, which he wasn't, because he would beat the hell out of old King Old Jeff. And don't forget his wife, Robbie, Queen Robbie, Queen Roberta, Queen Roberta, Sorry. and Queen Roberta. With her That's luscious 15-year-old breast just dancing in the wind. Uh-uh. And, so, uh-uh. and so King Jeff just this, lusted This is the moment in this. Monty Python when they say, now let's cut to something completely different. Because <laughs> this is Don't you like when he rips everyone off and doesn't let you finish? Well, and especially falls. when you're making fun of him, of course. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to make fun of everyone else and not good at it. You know? I never said I was. Was what? Con- talented? No. I didn't have say a I functional talented. brain? Oh, well, I have a functional brain, just not for this. Oh, well, let's uh, do, it, do, it, do it again. You tried no. with those three words. Okay. Could he be in a baby? <laughs> okay, uh. Remember, Brandon, Cobra, and Yogurt. Okay, a man goes to his apartment. He struggles with the keys. His name is Brandon. He has long, he beautiful, beautiful blonde eyes. hair and nice, pale skin. He goes in, opens the door. The door, the room is black. His apartment is dark. He turns the light on. So then he sits down. He sits down on his leather chair. And then he looks at television. He turns to his favorite show, Wasteland TV. He starts watching Wasteland TV. He goes, you know what? His stomach starts to grumble like a tiger in the woods. He goes over and goes, I think I need to eat some yogurt. Goes, get some yogurt. He starts eating yogurt and eating and eating yogurt. And then he drops a little yogurt onto his shirt. He takes his shirt off. So he starts eating yogurt again. He drops more onto his stomach. He goes, shoot. So he goes over, takes a shower, takes off his pants. Goes in to the Wait shower. Yet. What's that? Brendan doesn't wear underwear, or did he forget to take it off? Oh, I'm sorry. He's. That's a good point. He's actually He's was raised by. Uh, He's a Protestant, right? Well, I'm <laughs> what, not sure. What religion He's your, is? He's your Brandon. He's a Catholic, <laughs> and so his mom used to beat him when he used to take showers naked. So he, was, he always takes showers with his underwear on. And so, and he took his socks, and his socks are on too, and his shoes are also on too. 
And so he's taking a shower. And right beside him, a cobra out of nowhere starts to go down his arm. So he freaks out. And the cobra bites him and then jumps back onto him and puts it around his neck and then uh, throws the cobra back down, kicks the cobra. And uh, then he unveils the curtain and this beautiful naked lady is standing there. She looks at Gypsy, she looks kind of like Lisa Bonet. And she goes, come to me, you big stud. So he does. And so she grabs him by his hair. And Cobra bangs, 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 <laughs> fangs comes out. Fangs. <laughs> and then she bites into his uh, neck, shooting her venom into his neck. And then he falls dead onto the floor. Okay. It's not scary, but it's better than what Jeff did. <laughs> Okay. okay, that was, yeah, the story was no, it was better than my head. Anyway, um. Okay, Jeff, now that you had a peanut gallery of boredom, I didn't even see you do better. You didn't even try. You're like Brandon. Mm -hmm. What? What? We'll just leave that here. <laughs>